Picture yourself in a faraway land during the 11th century. Meet Rob Cole, a brave guy facing life's tough challenges. Being the oldest in his family, Rob works in dangerous mines to support his mom and younger siblings. One day, a mysterious healer named Barber comes to Rob's town. With his fascinating charm, Barber claims to have the power to cure various illnesses. That night, Rob's mom falls seriously ill, and fearing the worst, Rob rushes to get Barber's help. But there's a problem. People in the town think medical science is like magic and won't let Barber treat her. Sadly, Rob's mom gets sicker and sicker. The next morning, the town folks take away Rob's younger siblings and household stuff, leaving Rob all alone. Feeling lost, he turns to the only person who showed him kindness, Barber, the wandering healer. After some hesitation, Barber decides to take Rob under his wing as his apprentice. As time goes on, Rob and Barber travel to different lands, helping sick and injured people. Rob grows from a vulnerable child to a confident young man, yet he still wonders about the human body and wants to explore it. He's also desperate to understand appendicitis, the illness that took his mother. One day, Rob tells Barber he wants to see what's beneath the skin of a human body, but operations and surgeries are against the law, so Barber warns him never to talk about it again. Months later, Barber's eyesight gets worse due to cataracts, making it hard for him to work. During a tooth extraction for a farmer, Rob senses impending death, just like the night his mom passed away. Shockingly, the patient also dies on the table, proving Rob's hunch. Rob confides in Barber, telling him about his ability to sense when someone is going to die. But Barber dismisses it as superstition. That night, an angry mob accuses them of witchcraft, blaming them for the farmer's death. The two get beaten up and thrown out of the city. Despite Barber's vision problems, he continues teaching Rob medical skills. As Barber gets sicker, he relies more on Rob. A patient suggests taking Barber to a Jewish healer who can cure blindness. Skeptical but desperate to help his mentor, Rob decides to give it a try. The next day, Rob and Barber head to the Jewish doctor's place for treatment. It takes days and nights, but Barber miraculously regains his eyesight. Rob, amazed at the progress of medical science, asks the doctor about his knowledge source. The doctor reveals he learned from the greatest physician, Ibn Sina, of Isfahan. Rob expresses his dream to travel there, but the doctor warns it's dangerous for Christians. Undeterred, Rob is determined to become a Hakim, the best healer. Despite Barber's advice, Rob says goodbye and embarks on a new journey. After months of travel, Rob reaches Egypt. Before heading to Isfahan, he disguises himself as a Jew for safety. During his journey with Muslim travelers, he meets Rebecca. They help a village attacked by the Seljuks, and Rob impresses with his medical skills. In a desert sandstorm, Rob and another survivor face peril. When Rob's Christian identity is revealed, the other person attacks him. After days of struggle, Rob finally reaches Isfahan. Rob tries to enroll in medical school but faces rejection and mistreatment. Luckily, a stranger arranges a meeting with Ibn Sina, who accepts Rob into the school. Rob is ecstatic, learning about treatable diseases and expanding his knowledge. He discovers Rebecca alive, but she's set to marry someone else. Rob opens up to Ibn Sina about his mother's death and his ability to sense impending death. Ibn Sina shares that surgeries are considered sinful and he hopes things will change in the future. The city faces a deadly plague brought by the Seljuks. Ibn Sina advises evacuation, but the Shah refuses. Rebecca's husband abandons her, and Rob cares for her during the outbreak. Ibn Sina's strategy of exterminating disease-carrying fleas helps save the city. Rebecca, healthy again, returns to her husband. 
The Shah honors Ibn Sina and his students for their efforts. Rob cares for new patients, including one with appendicitis, conducting an autopsy for study. Tensions rise as Mullahs and Seljuks join forces to overthrow the Shah and expel Jews. Rebecca discovers she's pregnant, but the Mullahs capture Rob, accusing him of necromancy. Rebecca faces a death sentence for adultery. In court, Rob confesses to being a Christian to save the Jewish community, but faces death. The Shah orders their release when he learns of their medical knowledge. Rob performs surgery on the Shah, securing freedom for Rebecca and the Jewish community. War erupts and the hospital is burned. Ibn Sina stays behind, handing Rob medical records. Rob escapes, and outside the city, he discovers his dream fulfilled. He operates a hospital in London with Rebecca, living his dream life. The movie ends with Barber learning about Rob's success.